Many students today have been confused about if it's white and gold or black and blue. Myself, Greg and Keller, and Madison Smith are on the case. White and gold. Black and blue. I see light blue and gold. Uh, white and gold? That's black and blue. It's not Fox News. Black and blue. White and gold. White and gold. Black and blue. Black and blue. Black and blue. It's definitely white and gold. Yeah, it's white and gold. A blue and gold. Blue and black. Black and blue. Black and blue. Black and blue. White and gold. Black and blue. Blue and gold. Blue and black. Black and blue. It's black and blue. As you can see, many students are very confused here at CG. Is it black and blue? Or white and gold? Visit CG Publications to cast your vote. Vote for black and blue. Vote for white and gold. It's up to you. It's black and blue. So to say the same. Hey CG, I'm Lauren. And I'm Marissa. And we have your CG TV broadcast for Friday, February 27th. Hey, did you see the basketball game last Friday? No, what happened? It was an exciting finish. Keaton Clark is going to show us what happened. Last Friday, the boys basketball team overcame a 16 point deficit against the number two team in the state, North Central. The team was down by three points and Bailey Barrett put the team on his back with a deep three to send them to overtime. Yeah, they had a free throw with about 10 seconds left. And that put us down three, so we needed a three. And then Anderson just got the ball, dribbled towards me in the corner, so I cut up, got it, dribbled once, just shot it straight, gave it a chance. North Central was really good. They they were on their way to win the Mick, so after we won that game, it was a big momentum boost. And we knew that we could beat pretty much anybody. Barrett had 16 points and also made two clutch free throws to seal the win for his team. They won 73-70. The Trojans started off the season with nine losses but have won their last three games against the number nine team Mooresville, number two North Central, and Wednesday night they beat Brownsburg, number seven in the state. Um, we, had five, we had a rough patch. We had five losses in a row and that was tough. But then we beat Mooresville. And then we beat North Central and beat Brownsburg, three top ten teams in the state in a row. That really gave us, that really gives us a lot of momentum. A big game Friday night, senior night against Terre Haute North. And we're hoping to come in, do business, win it, and have a lot of momentum going into sections. Wow, that was awesome! Do you think tonight's game will be just as exciting? Definitely. We have a plan for the fans to be an amazing secret weapon. How? Drew Martin, Ashton Hart, and Lily Price bring us the story. On, on Friday, first off, it's senior night, which is a big night for our seniors, but we're also doing something um, that resembles Taylor's silent night. Um, and I think they're calling it Hush for Han. I don't know why, but um, it, it's where the crowd will be silent for the first 10 points of the game. And then once the 10th point is scored, the whole crowd erupts the entire time. Uh, the students are supposed to dress up in costumes. We want to have a packed house. Um, you know, the whole idea of it is that, you know, it's the end of the season, so we want to pump everybody up. It's sectional time. Um, and we re really want to send our seniors out um, with a great vibe and um, just the enjoyment of playing basketball for some of them. Everybody come out Friday. Um, check us out. We've now beat three ranked teams in a row. Um, we're playing Tarot North at home. It's going to be Hush for Han. And uh, it's also senior night, and I know our seniors would enjoy the support. Well, hello, my name is Brian Anderson, and I'm actually with Center Grove, Center Grove Campus Life. And what we're doing tonight is we're going to do a Hush for Han and Boys. Uh, this is modeled after Taylor University, which, I'm a, which is my alma mater. And, uh, so basically, you're going to be silent until that 10th point is scored, and it's going to be nuts. And in fact, yours is going to be better than ours, so I can't wait till we, we, we do this. I've heard there's some awesome costumes that you guys are going to be wearing tomorrow night. Uh, I've even heard that Zach Hart's going to be wearing a penguin suit. Uh, so you need to check that out because it's going to be pretty awesome. But for those of you who may have forgot, forgotten a costume, we do have these t-shirts. Uh, they are going to be available for sale. Uh, they are $10. Um, and they will be sold in the lunchroom today uh, for all lunch periods. Um, they'll also be sold tonight um, as well at the game. And so they're $10. A portion of the proceeds will go towards the Center Grove Care Pantry. Thanks, guys. This season is also very exciting for indoor percussion. Nick Nightingale brings us a video about what Drumline is up to. 
is like it's extracurricular it's kind of like band but it's just percussion and it's just like the off form like a different show and we have like a tarp and it's just inside so this year's show is called the other side and it's kind of a take on the movie pan's labyrinth and it's just basically about like kind of a different dimension, a different world that we cross into in the performance. We're a lot more prepared this year and we know most of our show already. Uh, we have big props and we like roll them around one of them has like plexiglass and uh, snares go on it and we can snare feature. You know who else is amazing? I mean, in a quiet, heroic kind of way? Who? Students who sign up for, to donate blood. On Monday or Tuesday, volunteers should have received your passes yesterday or today during study hall. Jessica Kelly has a feature about the blood drive. Interact Club is a community service in our school to help give back. We meet every other Thursday at 710 in Buckmaster's House. While we go to the nursing home and play like bingo or activities with them, we partner up with the Riley Committee and Student Council. We do the homeless shelter, animal shelter, and we also partner up with the Rotary Club of Greenwood and White River. Well, the blood drive is, um, the purpose of it is to give back to the community and those who are in need of blood. You must be 16 years old and you have to be above a certain weight so that you don't pass out when you give blood. We will be going around to stars and study halls for sign-ups and passing out the paperwork for the blood drive. So to get in on it, you just fill out the paperwork. You have to be over 16 or 16 or over. And um, then you'll just go in on one of your study hall days on the first or second and go through the station work. Remember, if you are donating blood, bring your blood don donor permission slip and eat and drink a good meal before donation time. If you have questions, please see Mr. Buckmaster in room 172. Last month, Best Buddies met at your, You Are the Potter, a very special event. Katie Mays brings us a video feature that, for that event. The Best Buddy Club came together on January 31st and made wonderful pottery. This is one of many events that Best Buddies does together. The Best Buddies had a great time working together to create pottery. This event was fun for everyone, but for different reasons. It's fun because it's different from the others. Katie Parker had a wonderful time with her buddy. My favorite part is getting to see everybody and being able to spend time with my buddy. The uniqueness of the event made the event fun for Jordan Etchison. I thought it was fun how people could come out together out of school and something different than like your regular like thing. She then explained how the event was unique. Yeah, I think it's one of the bigger ones. I think most of the time you like do something out of school, but you do it like at the school. Maybe you'll do like go to the park or something like that. And this is somewhere where everyone can come together and everyone can be different because they can pick what they want. Everyone at this event was just happy to be together with their buddies, friends, and family. So um, just seeing everyone get together and have a good time is just really something nice to see. You know, these guys being a friend. This was the first time this year that the club had gone out into the community together. This is the first time we've gone out into the community as a group. Um, that is something that I was just out of. So what I have been a part of. We've been part of the club since this year. Um, but yeah, pretty much all of them are the same. Everyone gets together and has a great time. Have some laughs, some smiles. But 
Overall, this was a great night. If you would like to participate in events like this, join the Best Buddies Club next year. Next up, Alice Kinney brings you the January Students of the Month. Congratulations to the January Students of the Month. Dylan Hicks. Katie Shea. Kevin Perry. Maddie Frame. Ronnie Ward. Maddie Rich. And Chase Miller. Hey, did you know a new club has started? Oh really, what is that? It's Pet Pet Club. Katie Parker has a video about it. Pup Pup Club is a group of people that meet in Mr. Gaff's room on Thursdays and we decide to play Pup Pup throughout the school. We have like foam balls, you have to bring your own putter, we keep score, and it's just a normal game of Pup Pup. Everyone loves Pup Pup, and you can have a great time, meet some new people, and better improve your game. I like Pup Pup Club because it allows me to meet new people, uh, improve my golf game, and have fun. It's the best. That's interesting. Now, Lauren Rager brings us a video about NHS. Your achievements in the realms of scholarship, leadership, community service, and character are being honored here tonight. I challenge you not to rest on your current accomplishments, but rather to strive towards greater goals. Service heart. Servanthood is at the core of a well-ordered individual, family, society, nation, and world. February 24th, National Honor Society had its annual induction ceremony to welcome all of the new members. Speeches were presented by Dr. Arkanoff, Mr. Bird, Kavit Pandya, Jessica Hornbeck, Caitlin Whiteside, and Carly Perglisi. After each student's speech, they carried out the traditional candle lighting. The great wizard Albus Dumbledore told us that it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. <laughs> Billy Graham once said, when wealth is lost, nothing is lost. When health is lost, something is lost. But when character is lost, all is lost. It is my honor to induct Hannah Ader, Keaton Clark, Alex Gilkunka, Grace Colbert, and Brian Newman, and Brian Hamilton, Zachary Hookie, and Bailey Hodges into the National Honor Society. Those are just a few of the new members. Congratulations to all of the new inductees. Thanks, Lauren. To wrap up the broadcast today, we have a video about boys' track from Jameson Taylor team has been preparing since December and hopes to excel during their upcoming season. My name is Trevor Holt. I'm a sophomore and I run the 300 hurdles and 110 hurdles. My best event is the 300 hurdles. I want to improve my form on the 110 hurdles and get my times faster. I joined in the sixth grade so I could keep in shape for football. I am Zach Hart. And I am a senior and I run like the 100 and the 200 and like I'm a part of the 4x4 and the 4x1 team. Goals for this season are win. 
forward to meeting Connor Steve. Uh, I think we begin preparing pretty much in December. Hi, I'm Tyson McCoy. I'm a sophomore and I run the 100 and 200. My favorite event is the 200. I look forward to becoming closer to my teammates and becoming more of brotherhood. My favorite part of preparing is knowing we're getting better as a team. I play football. I'm Zach Smith, I'm a junior. I'm high jump and I run the 4x4. I love the 4x4, it's my favorite. I get first in the state in both those. Just being with my team, warming up with the team, uh, track meets, and you know, getting first in all my events. I also play football. My name is Grant Mason. I'm a sophomore, and I run the 200 and 400. Our private season is uh, training. Um, we do treadmill and speed workouts. I'm looking forward to uh, getting started in the season and getting um, in the indoor races um, this April. I don't want to get hurt this season. I begin preparing as soon as football season ends. I'm Josh Hall. I'm a sophomore. My favorite event is pole vault. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, just the jumpers from other schools that I met last year. Other than track, I play football. My goal would probably have to be to get at least over 14 feet. My name is Cole Williams, grade 9, and uh, I run 100 and I throw discus. My favorite event is the 100. My favorite part of the season is uh, getting to be with the guys and uh, try to beat every school that you can. My favorite part of preparing is uh, eating right. The goals for the upcoming season is to get at least uh, first place five times. The boys' first track meet is April 1st. Come out and support them. And that's all we have for you today, CG. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.